Back here in Lagos, the Minister of Works, David Omahi, on Thursday met key players on the lagos Calaba Coastal Highway project to explain and allay the fears of residents and business owners on the planned demolition exercise. TVC News Senior Correspondent Sarah Ayeko reports. Coastal Highway from the National Assembly. This time he's engaging stakeholders. The stakeholders are members of the traditional council residents of affected communities and the political class. It's not in all projects that you call for stakeholders meet. It's an individual thing. If your project is affected, we make contact with you. It's your right. But we have never in any other projects had to call everybody to come together to discuss. But I'm ready for the discussion. Our concern principally and that of I believe majority of people here is compensation. When is compensation coming? We need to know, is it before demolition, or is it during demolition, or is it after demolition? You just mentioned the fact that uh, it's going to be by federal government um, uh, rates. Uh, we are not very familiar with federal government rates. If in the event that the rates that the federal government uses is lower than what we are familiar with in Lagos State, what will happen, sir? Whatever the Constitution says in terms of the rates is what we have to do, because it's not my money, that demolition. But will we you know, take people as much as possible, you know, starting from Monday, to come and know this is uh, your property, this is how much you are getting, and so on and so forth. After several concerns so we were raised at the meeting, the minister instructed that the planned the demolition of properties along the coastal highway be delayed by a week. So that means property owners have 14 days to the demolition date. He, however, promised that the federal government will pay compensation to government-approved properties that will be affected within 30 days. We fear to be homeless. And we also want, you have also promised us that in 30 days you are going to be meeting us one-on-one. -on -one. But these 30 days, as you begin a, from a place in 30 days, by the time you get to some areas, it will be the last day before you'll be talking to them. So I want you to be very considerate in this timeline that you are going to give us to pack our bag of baggages the, 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 from the demolition house. Demolition is not 30 days. We'll oh, okay. give you seven days notice. Yes, sir. Will we pay compensation? And whatever will we do to mitigate whatever pains may come? Yes, some people say landmass may reduce. And we don't want to say, like I said before, it's not my you know, uh, duty to ask who gave you the land, the land belongs to federal government, and so on and so forth. The minister also said that the total cost of the project will depend on when they finalize all the design of all sections as they are realigning designs based on the site situation. But the projected cost of using concrete pavement stands at 4 billion naira per kilometer. Sarah Ayeku, TVC News, Lagos. For more on this development, let's speak to the chairman Oasis Estate Landlord Association, Okwaja, in Etiosa East, local government of Lagos, Toluwa Joseph. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 1. When you heard about the lagos Calabar Coastal Highway and the roots of the project, what were your concerns and those of other property owners in that area? Yeah, thank you, and uh, uh, good to have you. Uh, first of all, uh, our fear uh, was the uh, the parameter that the government is uh, looking at in evaluating the property that are affected. But uh, yesterday, the uh, Honorable Minister cleared the air and said that uh, 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 they are going to use a uh, federal uh, uh, federal gazette to evaluate the properties. There is no problem about that. Our own uh, concern just that uh, in this part of the world, with our experience over the year with what the government has done to the citizens, is just that. Uh, we don't trust our government, but we believe with the promise that the Honorable Minister made yesterday, uh, the, the government will play a fatherly role to ensure that the people that are affected, they are not rendered homeless. Indeed, and at that stakeholders' engagement, the Minister spoke about compensation. 
What's your reaction to the government's plans? Yeah, uh, my own reaction to that is just that, is that uh, uh, I expected government to allow uh, the uh, people that are affected to have their own uh, independence value that will work with the government uh, value to uh, uh, reach a consensus. But uh, our fear and uh, our concern is the federal character of a uh, gazette that the uh, Honorable Minister mentioned. That's just our fear. But uh, if government wants to be fair to us as a citizen, to play the fatherly role, I think uh, uh, it will be better for us to have our own value as well, to value the properties, then uh, everybody will be happy with the compensation. But did you table that before the minister? Uh, we, uh, this very one wasn't uh, tabled before the minister yesterday because of the uh, time constraint. Well, he promised that it's coming around. I just pray that the time will warrant us to uh, share this with him and to know the way forward.